Science Made Simple. I'm Dr. Boyd the Chemist. Chemistry is the study of matter and its function. Central to understanding chemistry is an understanding of the periodic table of the elements. Today, I'm going to take some time to give you a brief history, an explanation, and an understanding of the importance of the periodic table. Enjoy! The year 2019 is celebrated as the International Year of the Periodic Table in recognition of its discovery in 1869. The periodic table is a grouping of all the known elements in a numerical fashion. The number that dictates the arrangement is called the atomic number, which is the number of protons in the nucleus in every atom of a given element. For example, hydrogen has one proton in its nucleus and is thus element number one, whereas carbon has six protons in its nucleus and is the sixth element listed in the periodic table. The elemental symbol is made up of one or two letters that identify an element, and it is typically located in the center of an element's block. Having a short way of identifying an element is helpful when chemists write out elemental formulas like CO2 for carbon dioxide. Many of the elemental symbols make perfect sense to the English speaker, like the letter C representing carbon, or the letters NE representing neon. Others are misleading or will have you wondering where they came from at all, like the letter K representing potassium. And although GD is an elemental symbol, AU actually represents gold. GD represents gadolinium. Now the atomic number is typically the largest one displayed for any elemental symbol, and it is commonly located in the upper left-hand portion of an element's box. Other figures often featured in, a, in an element's box include its atomic weight, its oxidation states, the element's electron configuration, and the full elemental name. The common representation of the periodic table comes from the elements being grouped into columns and rows based upon recurring chemical properties or periodic trends. The columns represent groups and we call the rows periods. It was Russian chemist Dmitry Mendeleev who is credited with devising the first version of the periodic table as we know it today. What was remarkable about this accomplishment was that Mendeleev even left room on his periodic table for elements that he predicted existed but were not yet known. In 2016, the periodic table, the common version of it, was completed all the way out to element number 118. But could there be more? Well, believe it or not, since at least the 1970s, some theoretical chemists have been studying the possibility of other elements that exist beyond what we term the F block, 